Well, everybody is talking about the quality, quality in healthcare, and pathologists started 50 years ago when nobody, no hospital, no medical specialty was talking about quality. So we started 50 years ago. I've been involved with cap inspections since early 70s, and I have been involved in international inspections. And I think overall, when I go and talk to folks, it has definitely made a difference for improvement in the quality of patient care. In a general way, of course things have improved because the accreditation um, makes sure that, you know, um, the labs are standardized, that the you know teaching is more or less following standardized guidelines. For example, we use a lot of the CAP protocols in reporting of cancer cases. And ever since it became mandatory, it's become even better because most institutions will follow those protocols. Well, I think the, the accreditation program has been very important for the laboratory in a sense that it has forced us to standardize how we do things um, in terms of uh, immunohistochemistry and validation of assays. I'm uh, the director of surgical pathology, so I'm in charge of the regulatory aspects of my laboratory, but I'm also a breast pathologist and have been confirmed, concerned for some time about problems in terms of variability in how we handle tissues, how we fix tissues, how we perform uh, these breast predictive factor tests. The, uh, lab accreditation forces us to look at our processes and our procedures, forces us to do things in a more standardized and uniform fashion. The proficiency testing program has clearly made a very marked objective difference in the quality of laboratory tests. Uh, laboratories that are involved in the CAPs proficiency testing program and are accredited by the college have progressively fewer deficiencies over time. They perform better than laboratories who are not. That's been studied and the data is there. Mm -hmm.